Okay, so this is going to be a Costco item review of this Hawaiian chicken. Um, so they had it for samples at Costco and I liked it. So I bought some to see how to make it. All right, it says uh, $14.99. So about $15 for this. All right here you can see Hawaiian style chicken, fully cooked uh, charboiled chicken thigh with teriyaki sauce and pineapple. I might have to exchange this because it looks like it leaked out. Right, chicken raised without antibiotics, boneless and skinless. Okay, so you can see it's made by this company, Naples. All right, and um, I bought this a while back. This was back in the uh, very end of September. So, wait, is that, yeah, September 29th. So basically October, and then it says to use or freeze by November. So basically a month and a half, you want to use it or freeze it. Okay, so after you bought it. Okay, so here you can see the packaging. Basically same stuff here, same stuff here. All right, and the item. Then you got all of this. Okay, and then they tell you all the ways to kind of heat it up or cook it. You can microwave it, you can bake it, and you can barbecue it. Okay, I'm just going to microwave it because that's the fastest method. So if you want, you can pause and read how to do that. Okay. You can see the ingredients. Um, if you're allergic to soy or wheat, you want to be careful with that. Okay, you can go ahead and read all of that on your own. Here you can see the nutrition facts. Okay, 10 servings per container. All right, 170 calories per serving. And there you go. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and see. Hopefully it's not all messed up because of the leaking. I didn't notice that until way later. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. I think if anything, because it's leaking, Costco will probably let me return it, but let's see how it goes. All right. So it has this plastic wrap on it. Okay, toss that aside. Go ahead and open this out. So it looks like this. So, I don't know where all this leaking stuff came from. The bag inside here doesn't really look like it leaked. So, I don't know. Did it leak? Where'd that liquid come from? Hmm. Is there a hole in here or what? Um, okay, well, it looks fine. I don't see anything wrong with this, so... Okay, I don't know if we microwave it in this. Oh yeah, it says microwavable here. So let me go ahead and read this thing um, to double check what the microwave instructions are. Um, here you go. Remove bag containing chicken. All right, pineapple and sauce from packaging. Place flat side down. So it says to put it on a microwave safe plate. So I don't know why they give you this if they tell you to remove the bag. Okay, so put it on a plate. Oh, okay, it says or in the tray provided. Carefully poke three to five holes on top and then microwave on high for 12 minutes or until hot. So poke three to five holes, okay, and then um, 12 minutes. Okay, then remove from microwave and while remaining in the bag, let it stand for one minute. So 13 minutes to completely prepare and then you can cut the bag open and then serve as desired okay then they have other methods here if you want to cook it that way but all right let's go ahead and turn this over flat side down like it said okay and then it says to make some holes in here so let me get a knife or something okay and we'll just poke some holes in the top actually maybe i'll i'll wash this just because it had some leaking stuff and i don't know what this is so let me rinse that off real quick and i'll be back all right, so I rinse it off. Oh, and also, by the way, it is, what day today? January 28th. So, if you're going by that, I I didn't think to freeze it. So, it's uh, two months and ten days over the time I should have froze it. So, let's see how it turns out. Okay, I'm going to poke some holes in here. Was it? Um... Is it four to five, three to five holes? Okay. So I don't know how big holes, but I'll just stab it. Three, four, and five. Okay, that should be good. And we're gonna microwave this for 12 minutes and then see how it turns out. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention here. So you can see this inspected for wholesomeness. 
by U.S. Department of Agriculture, okay, USDA. And then here you can see it says if you froze it to thaw it overnight in the refrigerator and then follow the directions below to heat it up. All right, so keep that in mind. I didn't see anything about this being already cooked. Um, the chicken didn't feel raw inside, but it doesn't say anything about it being cooked. So keep that in mind. I don't know if the chicken is raw. I doubt it's raw, but because I don't think 12 minutes is long enough to cook the chicken. But it could be partially raw, so you, you might not want to taste the sauce raw if if, um, if it's just opened in the bag. All right, so it's almost ready. Got another six, seven minutes, and then we'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so here you can see the chicken spinning around in the bag. It's about six minutes to go, and we'll see how it comes out. All right, see you guys soon. All right, so it just finished. Let's open this up. I don't want to drop my phone. Okay, so we're gonna have to let this sit for about a minute. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Oops, we're gonna take this out. Oh, I've got like some steam under there. I should let that dry off. Okay, so we've got the chicken in here in this baggie. We're gonna let it sit for a minute. Okay, it's already been about 30 seconds. Ooh inflated and then after that we're just gonna take it cut it open and see how it tastes okay um, we'll see if the taste changed because again it is about a little over two months over when I should have frozen it it was in the refrigerator and then I thought it was leaking because the box had that like I don't know why it has um, some dried up liquid on here as you can see so that was kind of weird I don't know how it got that because it was sealed and I didn't see anything leaking. There was nothing in this box, so. All right, so it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open and see what we got, okay? So, ooh, it's so hot and steamy here. Be careful, the steam can burn your hands. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay. Cut that open, cut this open. Okay. Cut this open. Okay, so the chicken looks like this. You can see there's actually chunks of pineapple in there. Let me see if I can get a better view here. Okay, here you go. Let's zoom in. All right, so looks like that. Let's go ahead and get a fork and try some out. Okay, so two month old, um, what do you call, vacuum bagged chicken, Hawaiian chicken. Let's see how the pineapple tastes. Mmm, still good. So if you left this in your fridge for like a month or two months over the time where you should have froze it, um, at least for me, I'm not gonna, for, for liability reasons, don't blame me if you get sick, but but for me, it seems, it tastes fine. It doesn't taste like anything's wrong with it. it tastes just like the sample I had at Costco. Has a nice, sweet flavor. Not, um, it's not a very strong pineapple flavor. It's um pretty sweet, slight tang to it. It's kind of similar to teriyaki chicken, in my opinion. Um, maybe everyone's tastes differ. I, the, the taste is pretty similar to a teriyaki chicken to me, but it's good. Um, I bought this when it wasn't on sale. That's how much I like the sample. Normally when I buy stuff from Costco, it's always on sale. So keep that in mind. Um, I like this quite a bit and yeah, if you see that at your Costco and you're kind of on the fence about trying it, I'd say go for it, give it a taste. Um, it's really good. Um, I'm actually going to eat this with rice and other stuff, but yeah, it tastes really good. And I can see how it would be nice if you barbecued it and had a little of that char flavor going on. And yeah, I don't think uh, baking it in an oven will really be worth the time or effort. Uh, microwaving is a lot quicker and you don't have to worry about as much mess to clean up. So yeah, that's my video. Hope you find it uh, in your Costco and enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. I forgot to show how much chicken is actually in here, so let me actually see if I can show this. 
So there's like this piece here. Um, there's this big chunk here. Okay. This here, I did eat a piece of this. So there's this chunk here, this chunk. So it's a bunch of like small, smaller chunks, not like full sized. Um, I guess it's like the thigh meat where they basically carved around the bone. But you can see there's quite a bit of chicken in here. Um, and yeah, okay. So just kind of wanted to show that because I didn't really show a close look of how much chicken is in there. Um, I'd say if you were to eat this, as, it's probably equivalent to about um, six or seven uh, chicken thighs maybe. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.